Today is the last day for all Denver City employees to upload their proof of vaccination or approval of exemption from the vaccine mandate. 98% of the more than 10,600 citywide workers are in compliance. Nine News reporter Katie Eastman is explaining what can happen to city employees who don't follow the new mandate. Katie? Yeah, Tom and Kim, the city says two things could happen to the people who don't submit proof of vaccination or an exemption approval before tomorrow. They could be fired right away if they never plan on getting vaccinated, or they could be suspended without pay for 10 days with the promise of coming into compliance. But as of three this afternoon, nearly all city agency employees are reporting that more than 90% of employees have completed the vaccine mandate process. Friday, you would be considered non-compliant. We'll be generating um, lists of employees uh, by department that have uh, failed to comply with the mandate uh, and um, distributing those to department heads for follow-up. That follow-up might not happen right away. Bronson says heads of departments will send out discipline letters and schedule hearings. After um, the first discipline meeting, if the employee is non-compliant but intends to become compliant, uh, there will be a 10 day suspension during which we will work with them to come into compliance. After that period, if they remain non-compliant, uh, we would move forward with a second uh, discipline step. And that second discipline step would be dismissal, but because more and more people have uploaded their proof of vaccination at the last minute this afternoon, it's not looking like too many employees will face any discipline. You were just talking about those numbers, and those numbers have moved quite a bit, you said, and just in the last hour or two, people have filed to beat the deadline. Yeah, it was looking like the Denver Sheriff's Department and the Denver Police Department would have some people not in compliance. They were looking like maybe 15% of employees at the Denver Sheriff's Department before 3 p.m. this afternoon were not in compliance. But now, Sheriff's Department already at 93% of people that have submitted. Hmm. So it, it kind of went up. People were procrastinating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we will it's continue like to follow day, it. Right? Yeah. I guess. You know, we that's, wait. That's why sometimes. they're deadlines. They make us yeah. move. All right, Katie, thanks.